Hi, I'm Jacqueline Fung and this is Making the Call. Time Darby shares are trending south today after it said it expects lower net profit for FY16. The conglomerate says weak consumer sentiment is going to affect its auto and retail divisions. And the potential increase in conflicts after the terrorist attack in Paris and Mali will have an impact on the cost of doing business. Sime Darby reported its first quarter net earnings yesterday, which slumped by almost 35%. Its bottom line was hit by weak commodity prices and volatile market conditions. The conglomerate is involved in plantation, industrial products, motor vehicles, property and energy. Afin Huang Capital says Syme Darby's numbers didn't hit estimates. It's cutting its core net profit forecast for FY16 to 18 by 4 to 24 percent. Still, Afin Huang is upgrading the counter from sell to hold. It says there are potential share price drivers here, including the recovery in CPO prices, the Malaysian Vision Valley project and the contribution from Better C. Target price 7 ringgit 60 cent, just 1 cent higher than it was previously. In contrast, MIDF is downgrading the counter from trading buy to neutral. It notes that Syme Darby's mainstay plantation division was the only one with higher earnings thanks to the strong FFB growth, and it should remain strong throughout FY16. But that isn't enough for the group, as low coal prices will ensure a bleak near-term outlook for the industrial division. It's cutting its target price to 8 ringgit 20 cent from 9 ringgit 10 cent. Public IB is also neutral on Syme Darby. It says core net profit only made up 10% of its earnings forecast. And going forward, FFB production is expected to fall in Malaysia and Indonesia because of the haze and El Nino. Public is cutting its earnings forecast for FY16 to 18 by 5 to 10%. It's rolling over its valuations to FY17 with a lower target price of 8 ringgit 51 cent from 8 ringgit 74 cent. At last look, Syme Darby was down 0.1% at 8 ringgit and 5 cent. And that's all we have for making the call. I'm Jacqueline Peng. Thank you for watching.